Now at 530, coronavirus cases spiking in the state of Florida with more than 3,200 cases reported yesterday. This is another single day pandemic high, a mark that has been broken multiple times statewide since the beginning of June. How concerned should we be and what should we do to slow the spread? CBS 4's Joe Murray spoke with an expert to break down the data for us. She has the latest from Fort Lauderdale. Lads, we'll get this rail on. After that, then we can mop everything. We're going to get the outside furniture outside. Before they reopened, Mickey Burns Irish Pub had all their workers tested for the coronavirus. You know, we did our best we could to, to know that everybody was clear as of we commenced to work. Um, it's something that we're going to have to do again. It shows our customers that we're taking this seriously and we're not just trying to, you know, brush it under the carpet. Owner Mark Rowe takes the recent spike in coronavirus cases seriously too. The worst case scenario happens and some of our staff or some of our customers do get sick. We are prepared. We, we might have to close again for be it a couple of days to get everything tested again. No one wants to see another shutdown, but there are worries with the numbers going in the wrong direction. Florida could become the new ground zero. Well, it all depends on what people do. We spoke to Dr. Mary Jo Trepka, an infectious disease epidemiologist and former director at the Miami-Dade Health Department about what the spike means. We've been reopening um, in the state and also now in South Florida, so I'm sure that's contributing to it. Uh, children out of schools, uh, there have been, we had Memorial Day a few weeks ago. Um, there's been people who were congregating for the, some of the protests. People who are at higher risk for COVID-like illness are probably better off avoiding um, places where they could encounter other people. More people are getting tested. That's a piece of the numbers puzzle too. We went to Hollywood Beach in the Broadwalk to see if people were practicing social distancing six feet apart. Kevin and Kristen George said they are being careful, but they've noticed a difference in people being COVID-minded. Sunday was packed. People, no masks, they're all close together. We left. And with tourists returning to South Florida, we wanted their take on the spike. The Linders are from South Carolina. We're trying to, you know, not get too close to people. And Wear our mask when we're indoors in places or close to other people. So while people are getting out more and more, the experts are saying we need to get back to the basics. Lots of hand washing, practicing social distancing, and wearing a mask. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. And holding an umbrella, too. The